Hey guys, it's your girl Monique Rebel Jones, and I'm here with the Runway Dallas Season 2 with Marcella Penn Jones, who is the creator and collector of this Runway Dallas extravaganza. I want you to tune in behind the scenes, get all the real grittiness of the process before the big show. Tune in. <laughs> Um, 
So that is the um, that is the law that we have to buy Sebastian Cooper tool. Sharon Yick. Um, yeah. With Yick Style. Um, my collection is a collaboration of vintage pieces, custom pieces, as well as um, ready to wear pieces. Sorry, I'm a little nervous right now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm born and raised from Houston. I just moved out to Dallas a year ago. Um, I just recently debuted my line uh, last month. So I'm fresh and new and I'm really excited. Um, my line is to empower men and women to be funky, fun, very unique and different. And I'm excited to show you all my line. So she said, my name's Chris Lynch. I own ES Collection Dallas, which is my showroom here on uh, Cedar Springs. Uh, I first point out that uh, I'm not qualified to sit on this panel with all these artists and amazing designers, because I am neither. My, uh, my artist uh, designer actually lives in Barcelona, the poor thing. He's passing it up with that. Um, his name is Eduardo Sunier, and I met him about three years ago. Um, he's actually been designing clothes for about ten years for men. And he's very um, inspired by the Mediterranean and Barcelona. Uh, Barcelona, if anyone's ever been, is a huge city of color. Uh, there's, it's everywhere. So you know, you walk down the street in Barcelona, and you don't see men in navy and black and white and browns. They're in reds and oranges and and just vibrant colors. Um, we wanted to bring that to America. Oh, star. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Marcella Jones, and I'm uh, the executive producer of Runway Dallas, and also a uh, designer of the Marcella Collection. It's, uh, I love business, and I love dressing women in business. I had the opportunity to, most of my life, uh, be entrepreneur, entrepreneurial uh, in, in a lot of different things, and just in that, it kind of inspired me. Uh, to just kind of create a collection that women could wear, you know, in the workforce. Um, I have a career line, and in, in my career line, I like to work with classic silhouettes, but I love working with prints and, and different textures and kind of mixing those things together to just kind of really create a really eye-catching um, statement piece. So recently, just last year, uh, started a uh, sports line as well. So um, I'll be showing the second line of that tomorrow, uh, along with my uh, career line. Um, and I'm, I'm absolutely looking forward to it. It's been an awesome journey, as Sean said. And I mean, it's definitely God inspired. And I can't take credit for any of it. And I just sitting here in awe of what you brought together, just looking at all of you and all of our awesome designers and hearing all the different accents as we go down the line. <laughs> and it's, and it's awesome. It's awesome. And like William Michael said a little while ago, I use that word a lot because I'm all inspired. And I mean, it's, it's awesome. <laughs> collection in Dallas last year, and I'm not just a designer, I'm also representing Runway Dallas in South Asia as well, courtesy Marcella. <laughs> so this time I am doing uh, Shades of White, this is the name of my collection, and I'm mixing uh, Eastern wear and Western wear together. I picked you up and I can make something uh, very creative and very, very uh, stylish and very, very line and cutting and everything. So I try to create something which can inspire everyone. I call my designs customizable because I give my clients the opportunity to re-customize, to redesign or personalize my designs to suit their style. So it's not just about what Coco Diamond has to offer, it's about getting the perfect match. Are you wondering how they got to this point? Tune in for a little Q&A. Um, for the designers, uh, as a, what do you all look for in a model? You gotta be able to be teachable. And maybe that's what this lady, this young lady here, is um, be a little pushy. You know, when we're in there at 9:30, go introduce yourself to everybody. Make sure they know who you are. Um, you know, add a little bit of humility and say thank you for letting us do this. And oh, by the way, when you need me next, give me a call. Respect the designers. Well. So I, I, I'm glad you said that because we need to honor the, the designers. We need to honor the time, the sweat, the blood that we put into the design and everything. So I've seen models where they just rip the clothes off and they're on the floor. And you show up because if not, the next time you're going to want to be in the show. I'm not going to use you because I'm going to remember that you didn't show up. And usually this gives you 
giving me, I'm not trying to be mean, but if you're not sick or somebody close to you is not sick or dying, then what is your excuse to at the last minute say to me, I'm not going to be able to make it to that show? Because you have to think about the fact when you're working with a designer that does a lot of custom, me, sewing my clothes, me, I've taken the time to make something to fit your body and then you're telling me, it's not easy. So it's not as easy to just pick a rich model and say, hey, girl, let me put you in this dress because it may not fit that person. And call you up and say, hey, i got a show for you and you're going to make, I'm going to get you a thousand dollars to be in the show, but you committed to a volunteer position. Be a person of integrity and show up. Yes, sir? I just know you're about to get in a <laughs> it's very important, and work gets around. Yes. You have to believe in your passion, and take a walk through Times Square if you're ever in New York, and you'll get inspired. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like your energy, it like brings it all together. You know, like no matter what you're doing, have fun with it. Give versus give. Be willing to connect and say, "Can I glean from your field on whether it is the business side of managing money?" Be willing to volunteer to get that experience, shadow somebody. This is blood. <laughs> this is sweat. This is money. So I, I'm glad you said that and I confirmed that, that we do have to bring honor back to from the models. I'm sorry you had to be the one to. <laughs> 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 out there and networking, what was your biggest challenge and how did you overcome it? Getting the word out there about who you are. You can have the best product in the world, but if people don't know about it, then you're not going to be as successful as a business person. I think as a designer, common pins, safety pins, threads. You got your poor best friend, yeah. guys. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, something falls off. Oh, it was meant to do that. <laughs> Runway Dallas, season two. Let's go! All hands in.
ocean and the sand and the beaches and, and this kind of really reminds me of you know the, the sand color as the base and then you have all these pearls and stuff in the ocean and just the richness of adding the sparkle and the rhinestones just brings it all together giving it that luxury feel.